The problem comes and goes, but somewhere between the treatment plant and the faucet, Valley Park water takes on a tinge and a metallic taste. The city adds special chemicals, but it appears that the pipes themselves are the problem. It collects iron as it goes through cast iron pipes. And we have been unable to get the CO2 and precipitate the iron out of the water. Is this the same as rust? I would, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's about the same as rust. The water has done enough damage to individual Valley Park residents, but it's hurting the livelihood of others. Bob Beckett owns a laundromat in Valley Park. He uses as much water as anybody. It's damaged his equipment and caused a drop in business. About 25% drop off, I've noticed, 25 to 35% to be exact, plus the clothes replacements before we found out it was city water. Had to replace your washing machines? I'm in the process of replacing them right now, yes. The spots were got so bad that people, well, I was ashamed to let people even try to use it. Your, your sink? And then they either replace the sink or paint it. And with that porcelain paint, this seemed to help a little bit. I'm sure you've talked to the city about this. What do they tell you? Uh, they've been cooperative and sympathetic, but it, I, mean, I can't pay bills on sympathetic. I'm mean, being sympathy. Water Commissioner Moon says it would take about $2 million to replace the city's water pipes. He says Valley Park doesn't have that kind of money, and efforts to obtain federal aid have failed. Mike Stroot, News Center 2 in Valley Park. A fake, a fake.